We come from all walks of life, and we all have a story. That's what connects us. These are the stories that make us CCA. This is my son, Ricky Bowermaster, and he is uh, seven years old. He's, you know, kind of everything. My life's kind of circled around Ricky outside of work. So I, I definitely consider that when I'm making decisions about how I manage my time. Real important to me that, you know, he feel like I'm always present and available to him. My name is Mary Bowermaster. I am a shift supervisor in Florida. I am CCA. Just working with her like the past, I'd say about a year and a half, um, got to know her a lot and what people don't know about her is that she's very compassionate. Like, she'll take the time to talk to her staff and make sure they're okay. As a supervisor, she's firm but fair. Like, she knows her stuff. She's been doing this a while. If you do something wrong, she's not going to scold you. She'll simply talk to you about it face to face and let you know what you did wrong and say, hey, let's not do this again, you know. Let's make sure we do this right next time. And we have to get it done and we know that but at the same time we can come in and have a good time as well. I worked with people that kind of mentored us and really wanted to see us succeed. I always felt like I had something to achieve and one of my supervisors when I first started, his name was Mr. Storbeck. I thought I came to work the same every day. I didn't really think I changed much, but I was actually having a bad day. And he came into the control room that I was working in. He was like, hey Mary, you know, there's something different about you today. And I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. He's like, I don't think you are. And we got to talking, and just the fact that he noticed that much about me and took that much interest in me, and I was having a bad day and I didn't explain to him, it, it, was, it was like, okay, this realization that, hey, the people, about here, the people who work with you care about you, you know, and that was important to me. Give people the opportunity to have ownership. And when people own it and it's theirs, they're responsible for it, they're, they're going to want to succeed, they're going to want to do well, they're going to want to accomplish because they, they own that area of responsibility and they're proud of it. Nobody wants to come and work and do a bad job. So you just have to recognize the good work and then, you know, when you let them have their ownership, make sure that you recognize that, hey, you've done a good job and I appreciate it. Ricky Seven. Some parents start their kids like three and four into wrestling. It's actually really competitive here locally. He started wrestling and he's getting into that. Because I, I think if he, if we were not involved in his activities, I don't think that he would even, I don't think he put forth the effort like he does. She's a very good teacher. She takes time to make sure we know the stuff, but at the same time, she makes sure we have some kind of fun. I'm constantly hungry for information. That's just how I am. I think that's how I'm built. I love teaching. I like showing people how to do things um, and then evaluating how they do it and then showing them how they can get better at it and then explaining the why. I enjoy passing on the knowledge. I enjoy seeing people succeed. It's very important to me to the people I work with, the people I work for, the people that work you know, for, on my team, my shift. It's important for me that they succeed. Our contract is with Citrus County and we partner with the Citrus County Sheriff's Office who also helps to run the Public Safety Institute at WTI for Criminal Justice and I am an adjunct instructor there. I'm Captain Phil Royal of the Citrus County Public Safety Training Center. We actually train uh, future professionals in law enforcement, corrections and firefighting. We like to hire professionals from our various agencies that are surrounding us, ones that are actively doing the job. So Captain Bowermaster is bringing to us current up-to-date uh, skills and procedures that she does as a correctional officer, um, and in her case, a supervisor in the correctional setting. She's able to bring her experience and her training um, and give it not only in just a textbook example for the students, but actually a hands-on practical realistic story, so to speak, uh, of her experience related to the training that they receive. Adult learners, I believe, you know, I mean, we, we learn by talking about things, by reading about them, but more by doing and interacting, adults especially. And so what I do is I try to engage them in the doing and kind of get them involved in what I'm doing as I'm talking. It's just, it's just fun. It's fun to impart information upon people and just see a light bulb go off on them. Like, wow, I got that, you know? You're kind of adding to their self-esteem and you're making the next great correctional officer and it's kind of what people had done for me. You know, I'm just finding my own way to do it, I guess. It's 
so we're here now at Rising Star Music and my son is uh, having his uh, weekly guitar lesson. Music kind of goes in our family. We're all kind of believers that growing up with music kind of enhances your ability to learn in general anyway. I just want to be happy, you know, have endless possibilities to be happy. I mean, there's so much out there in the world. I just want him to be able to find what he is just going to be happy doing. That's pretty much my goal. Just make him you know, aware of the endless opportunities life offers and let him have his pick. My name is Mary Bowermaster and I believe you should never stop learning. I am CCA, we are CCA.